What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Buzzword five. Talking photography. Um, I'm headed to a <coughs> street ride meeting right now. It's about probably 15 minutes away, so I have time to do this. I haven't had time to do it all week after work, so we're going to fit it in right now. Um, <coughs> last time I talked to you, excuse me, <coughs> talked to you about uh, Brewing and Raceway and stuff. I was shooting there. And then uh, Sunday, went and uh, did an engagement shoot with my daughter and her fiance. We went to Skinny Atlas, New York. I uh, I took my uh, <laughs> Fuji XT1, my XE2, 18 to 55 and 55 or 55 to 200 lenses. Took a, my Canon flash. <laughs> had my Cowboy Studio radio triggers, which are awesome. They're so inexpensive, and they, they have never let me down, never. They work every time. And uh, my wife was holding on to the my flash for me. She was my voice-activated light stand, like I like to call her. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We planned on doing it Saturday, but my wife had to work, so we changed it to Sunday. And Sunday it was gloomy, raining, drizzle, foggy. Just wasn't the perfect day to be doing an engagement shoot. Because my daughter has, you know, she wants things just right. And she wants to look her pictures to look good, which I can't blame her. So we got up about 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> got ready. Headed up to Skinny Atlas, about a half hour away. And, uh... On the way up, it was foggy and raining, and it's like, it's like, wow, is this gonna happen? So we got into Skinny Atlas, and it, it stopped drizzling, stopped raining. Still cloudy, but it was it was good. And uh, I did, I wrote a blog post about it, and it's just blowing up my uh, WordPress site, buzzword.wordpress.com. Go there, and you can read it. It's called the engagement shoot. It's pretty good. People liked it. Got some pictures on there so you can see what we did. <laughs> so we get up there and we uh, work. We park up kind of just into town. And uh, the lake's right there on the left. So we went over there, grabbed some pictures by the lake, see what the lighting was like. Um, There's a couple ducks right there. And I wanted Ben and Becca to stand right there next to the ducks. But... As we're getting ready to shoot, a couple walks by with their dog, and of course the ducks fly away. They jumped in the water. So we did some shoots there next to some uh, flag poles and stuff, or uh, light poles, and uh, just to get going, get get them comfortable with me there with the camera, and get Tammy going with the flash where she's going to stand and what she, what I'm expecting her to do. So, <laughs> and then we walk down into town. It's an older town. It's really Main Street. It's really nice nice storefronts and this is where they got engaged so there's meaning to this shoot too so had them stand in front of a brick wall and they're looking at each other and holding each other's hand then they kiss each other and I got some really good shots with that I used both cameras on and off both you know no not one more than the other and I'd switch my uh radio trigger from one to the other which takes two seconds to do and then my wife like I said was holding the flash so we shot in front of storefronts, shot in front of where they stayed that night, shot in front of the restaurant where he popped the question. The table they were sitting at was right at the window, so they were standing there in front of the table at the window that he asked her to marry him, you know. Which, right, it was pretty cool because Tammy and I didn't know all this stuff, so we were kind of like reliving it with him. <laughs> and right now, it, maybe it, it felt foolish to him, but, excuse me, I'm really congested here um but you know in 10 20 years they're gonna say yeah that's where that's the table it's gonna be pretty cool for them so after that we moved down to the other side of main street which is another part of the lake but it's like there's a beach there they, that's where all the boats dock that's where they have a a, a a boat that goes out for dinner cruises and stuff uh docked right there 
So they went out onto the, the pier, then they went down on the couple docks. And Becca sat down on the dock <coughs> closer to me, and Bennett was too back, kind of standing there behind her. Like, and she looked back at him, and I was shooting different angles there, and they were doing different things, you know, looking at each other. And uh, they come out pretty cool. No flash there because they were kind of too far away. Tammy couldn't get close to them without being in the shot. So then they come back off the docks, and they got like a little park there, nice greenery, some flowers. They sat there, shot them there, went up in a pavilion, shot them up in there. Them pictures were, eh, it's kind of boring, you know, but they, they were okay. Got some nice headshots of them there, so they'll be good for them. Then we did uh, in front of a fountain. I slowed my shutter speed way down, shutter priority like we talked last time, to get the water kind of like, you know, not just stop, but kind of flowing behind them, and they come out pretty good, <laughs> and then, uh, so we shot around there quite a bit, and then we, 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 you know, got everything we needed, and started to go back up to the car, because then we wanted to go to a bakery, check out a local bakery there, so went back to the car, and as we're walking, Ben and Becca were ahead of me, and they're walking ahead of Tammy and I, it's like, that's a good shot, like them leaving the town. So they're hand in hand, you know, so I start shooting, 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 shooting. It's like, wow, these are pretty awesome. So then they look back at me, and I'm, I get them looking back, and then they went up and turned around and come back, so they kind of took it upon themselves to walk back to me. So I got some nice shots of them going away and to me. So it was really good. I mean, I shot, I don't know what I shot. I got 600 pitchers, 700 pitchers, I think 400 and some keepers. So, put them on my site, johnzacharyphotography.com, under weddings, if you want to check them out. And then Becca can go through them there, and then if we're going to get some printed, we'll print them right from there. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it was really good. A lot of her friends were happy about it. They liked them. So maybe, like I was telling you before, maybe we can, you know, book some, some of her friends for some engagement shoots or a wedding even. That'd be cool. So, yeah, the cameras work great. That XT1, the more I use it, because I haven't used it much, because I got it this last winter, and here in New York, it's not a lot of shooting in winter, so I really like it. The image quality is awesome. I ordered the 35mm 1.4, like I told you. I wasn't sure which one I was going to get. I got that one from Amazon, <laughs> and they said I was going to have it by Saturday, but I didn't. I didn't get it until Monday, so I really wanted to use it on that photo shoot, but <clears throat> it didn't work out, but the lenses I got are awesome, and so <clears throat> next time I'll get to use the 35, I'm so excited to use that, I use it a little bit around the house, and the bokeh is awesome, <clears throat> it's pretty fast, it's a pretty fast lens, and the pictures are, they're sharp, really sharp. 3,200, 6,400 ISO. I was taking pictures of my wife. She's sitting on the couch. And <laughs> the JPEGs look killer. So I'm excited about that. So that engagement shoot, that was a lot of fun. Like I said, the cameras were good. My XE2, I love that camera. I, I know where the dials. I know everything about that camera. I haven't got there quite yet with the X-T1 muscle memory and all but and they both have a little different the dials aren't the same I wish Fuji would keep everything the same but for the most part I can I can move around them pretty quick so worked out really well she's happy I'm happy my wife's happy so we got that out of the way now we gotta I don't get to shoot the wedding because I'm in it obviously but <clears throat> I told her I am gonna shoot the reception so I got a there's a couple people I want to ask see if they'll shoot it for me and uh it's going to be exciting. Can't wait. Now I'm thinking about getting an X-Pro1 because they're pretty reasonable now. And I really want an X-Pro1 or an X-100S or a T just to carry with me. I like the rangefinder just to have and then use my other two for, you know, professional shoots. So I'm hemming and hawing about that. The Pro1, man, I've been, you know, it just takes awesome pictures. But it's got the old sensor in it, like the XE1, so I don't know, I don't know. 
I might just get the X100S or X100T, so stay tuned for that. If I get it, I'm definitely going to do a review, and I'll let you guys know how, how it is. But, uh, yeah, check out my stuff on my site, that engagement shoot. I think they come out pretty good, and let me know what you think. You know, a couple of them, the flash was a little hot on them, but I think they look pretty good <clears throat> for a cloudy day, a real gloomy day, so... Uh, and it's good. I wish I could do more of that stuff because the more you shoot that stuff, the better at it you get, you know. So I don't shoot that kind of stuff every day. I shoot sports and action stuff. So shooting people posing and stuff, that's with flash and no flash. and It's kind of tough. I just wish I could do more of it so I would just bang nail it, you know, every time. Just know exactly what my settings were. You know, I was around 180th. <clears throat> flash was like one-eighth of a power to one sixteenth of a power. I was at 600, 800 ISO. Uh, F4, F5, 6. So, that's where I was at most of my most of the settings for the day. So, it was good. It was fun. Like I said, keep repeating myself, but it was. I had a really good time, and I'm really happy with the images that we got out of them Fujis. Fuji cameras rock, people. I'm telling you, they are awesome. So, <clears throat> just, uh, if you're looking for a new camera, look at the Fuji system, rent one. Go to lensrental.com, rent one, check it out. You can't go wrong. So other than that, have fun. I will talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. I'm almost at the meeting here, so... I want to get one of these a night is what my goal is, but I had a guy riding home with me from work, so I can't really do it while he's in the car with me, so here we are, and uh, I hope to do more of these, and I hope you guys like them. I'm just going to keep doing these things, and, you know, if I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to myself, but hopefully I can help somebody out there understand what they're doing, little tips here and there about shooting, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So, thanks for stopping by, and remember, just shoot.